Has the thought ever occurred to you to just create what's on your mind? Worry-free. Yeah, I know. I know what that sounds like. You're probably like, duh, duh, dude. That's, that's the whole point. The crazy thing is, that's harder to do than it seems. And maybe this video will be your sign to do it. Let me explain. There's always that thought, at least in my head, of what subject would even look good as a painting. Which by no means is a bad thing to do, but then one day I was like, let me just paint what I like and make it look good as a painting. I know that that sounds like I just said the same thing twice, but there's a huge difference. Trust me. For example, in this painting here, I got some chocolate from the convenience store and then like a mystical vision that just came to me. I decided, man, maybe I should paint this. I then put it in a way so that I could paint it effectively and compose it well. And that wasn't too hard. I mean, I usually paint things from this perspective, but for this one, I went for a top-down viewing angle. See, like what I said earlier, one thing is letting the art and the subject control you. The other is having full control over your art. Wow, that, that came out way better the second time. Well... I guess when it comes down to artists not painting what they truly want, there's the elephant in the room, if you will. Actually, let's let's keep the elephant waiting in that room a little longer. Have you ever wondered how artists are able to control the consistency of their paints, like there's some sort of paint bender or something? Well, in this Skillshare class, I explain all. Experimenting with mediums and exploring unique textures, link down in the description below. Now to address the elephant, he's been waiting for a while. So well, any person who wants to make art and sell it or make it uh, make a living off of it, figure you kind of have to paint what other people like. And that's a, that's a fair assessment. That's a fair thought process, right? Everyone has that phase. This either comes in the form of painting generic subjects that you don't want to paint, or taking on a log of commissions that you also don't want to paint. Who guessed it? And they can both be draining, understandably. I mean, if you're a still life painter, don't take on 10 portrait commissions. That's probably the last thing you want to do, or at least for me it would. I mean, I paint things and not people for a reason. Because, well, maybe I don't like people. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I do. Sometimes. But what you do to fix this is... Make sure you have a cohesive body of work and make sure people know what it is that you do and what you're well skilled at and what you're comfortable at doing well. To fix the issue of making generic things to appease everyone, well, like I said in the beginning with my genius chocolate story, paint something you want or like and make it look interesting. It's that simple. And I mean it's really that simple. And by paint something you like, I don't, it's not even paint something that you like painting. It could be as simple as paint something that you like. The equation that went in my head was, I like chocolate equals I paint chocolate. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Oh, and there's one other key distinction you need to know. You can paint something you like 
and still also take risks and you and still you can still get uncomfortable and try to improve in fact i am the king of uncomfortable yep uh that's what they call me actually i i don't know if, if that sounds too good when i say it out loud but the moral of the story here is painting what you like and painting comfortable are two different things there will probably be no growth there and if you don't want to grow then i don't know i don't know where i was going with that actually you i mean you get the point I'm trying to get all philosophical or something like that and i say all that to say this it's very rewarding painting something that you want to paint and executing it well and that's one of the best feelings in my opinion that you can ever get as a creative so i mean like i said earlier if this is your sign to do what you want and be free then do it what to be free all right see ya